Hi, I'm Ken Carson with Zybex on our troubleshooting channel. I'm gonna walk you through an E16 code and what to do when you get that. You'll get the E16 code for several reasons. One of the primary ones, this is sensitive. It just likes to be touched lightly. But if I'm gonna push down on both buttons at the same time, it doesn't know what to do, so it's gonna give me E16. If you spill water on these, they're waterproof, but you need to wipe it off. Grab a microfiber cloth, something like that, get it cleaned off. If you got messy fingers, if you're eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and you get peanut butter and jelly on there, that could certainly give you an E16. So keep these clean, microfiber cloths, wipe this right off. So when you have the E16 and it stays continuously, unlike this where I, un I let go, then we need to do a table reset. The first thing to do when you do the reset with the E16 is make sure everything's cleared out underneath, backpacks, Get your chair out of the way so then you can work on this. And we're gonna be on the side of the table. Obviously it has the hand controls up there. Underneath the work surface here, we've cut out a special pocket. One for the keyboard surface, and one further back is for the monitor surface. So whichever one you're having an issue with. We're struggling right now with the keyboard surface. So next to that is these kind of key shaped pockets and inside there is what we call a coupler. And it's really easy. This, you can see, looks like an old phone connection. So I'm gonna unplug that. The trick here is we're gonna wait 30 seconds and then we'll plug it back in. So after 30 seconds, I'm just gonna grab this, make sure I got my thing lined up, once again, just like a phone, and I'm gonna plug it back in. Now the key here is we're gonna wait another 30 seconds before we touch any buttons. So what we're gonna do in the meantime, is I'm gonna reach under here and I'm just gonna get the coupler, push it in the open spot of this, and then push it back and it's just held in with friction. And then your coiled cord is just gonna stay right up here I'm gonna tuck this in just a little bit more so your cables are all managed, the coupler's in there, it's not gonna fall out. Now we're gonna go back to the top of the work surface and make sure we waited that 30 seconds. So the E16 reset's pretty easy to do. If you're not sure about something, you have questions, our customer service department is here to help you out. We'll have their 800 number and their email address down below. So hit us up, we're here to help.